Cam, you, you could take this first. Just uh, it looks like it's going to be the last uh, game Arkansas <laughs> plays A and M in uh, Arlington. Just how do you how do you feel about that and the fact it hadn't gone Arkansas's way, but you got one more chance to try to turn that around. Oh man, I feel I feel good. You know, I'm psyched about it. Um, any opportunity and chance I got to go into that stadium, man, it's a surreal feeling. And to just know that this is the last year, and to know that we haven't won, I want to say since 21, and this is the last year, so we can go out with a bang and, and uh, end it off just like that. You you, you want to take that to, to Stephen? Oh uh, yeah, no. Nah, um... Honestly, man, when I heard about the Southwest Classic, the history behind that, I thought it was awesome. Uh, kind of like being an NFL player for a day, going to play in the Dallas Cowboys Stadium, man. So I'm really psyched about that. And uh, just, you know, learn about the history, man. We haven't won since 21. I mean, yeah, we got this this chance this year, man. Let's uh, finish it off right, man, for the last time. You know, bring that trophy home. Now, you, you guys aren't from Texas, but you have a lot of teammates from Texas in key spots especially. Well, what, what sense do you get from your Texas guys what uh, what what going down there in their home state to play meet means to them, Cam? And maybe you could take that first. Um, I know it means a lot to them, and especially to the teammates um, that wasn't fortunate enough to have the Texas A and M offer out of uh, high school. So they make it a little more personal. But I know it, it means the world to them, just as if I was playing back home in Atlanta. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure they'd be very excited to just go back to that hometown. You know, with all their uh, family, friends, and uh, people that watched them growing up playing football, man, that would be something uh, very precious, like a precious memory for them to go down there and finish it off right. Yeah, thanks, guys. Trey, go ahead. Yeah, guys, I was wondering what you think about uh, what Texas A&M has going on um, on offense, uh, particularly at quarterback. Um, We're preparing for both quarterbacks right now. Um, I know they have a red shirt freshman. Uh, just basically watching him on film, he's a, he's a one heck of a player uh, to be so young. He can uh, move around in the pocket, do a lot of things with his feet, and he's also a good thrower too. But like I said, we're preparing for both, so whoever shows out there, we'll be uh, prepared for the both of them. Yeah, man, uh, preparing for, you know, both both quarterbacks, preparing for a pretty good team. But, I mean, you know, this is SEC, man. You're going to prepare for a good team every week, and uh, we take the same approach with everything, you know, respect our opponent, man. But, you know, we're going to put our best foot forward, man, and and putting uh, putting together an elite plan by our coaches and just getting ready to execute at a high level come Saturday. What was that locker room like after the Auburn game? Um, and especially for the defense for – I mean, you guys played really well. Um, just the momentum, I guess, that you take from that game into this one. Um, I could say that it was a it was a pretty good feeling, man. You know, we was all partying, turning up, but then a reality kicked in, and the twenty four hour rule started to come into play, and we knew that we had to go ahead and just put that win uh, behind us and prepare for A and M the very next day. Yeah, I'll definitely picking back off what he said, man. Definitely a, a exciting exciting time, man. You know, I was really excited. You know, my first SEC play here as a as a Hall man. Just so so excited to do with the team, but. You know, as soon as we got that dub and we moved on from it, man, we flushed it. You know, we're moving on to the next. Thanks, guys. Tom, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to follow right up on that and Steven and ask, what's the locker room been like? I mean, y'all, that was a pretty big high. Do you think you guys have refocused for this game already? 100%, man. I mean, you know, every opponent's a new opponent, man, no matter who it is. Uh, when we have success from a week before, we like to acknowledge it. Then we like to put it aside, man, and move on to the next to the next obstacle, man. And uh, I think that's what what has been in that. If anything, I think it just gives us motivation, knowing that you know we have everything that we need to really you know go far in this league. We just gotta stay disciplined, stay consistent, man, and keep chopping wood. You know, can uh, um, uh, T.J. Metcalf has really started, you know, imprinting himself on the game, and he, he was involved in four. Take a, takeaways the other day, Cam. What did you what did you think of his effort, uh, and and what you, what have y'all done with him since then? Man, it, I, to think about his effort, it was just it was surreal just seeing him. Um, you know, we talked uh, before the game, and like I said before, just like we're going to uh, Dallas this week, and we got a couple of Texas kids. Uh, Auburn was a school that played with T.J. Metcalf a lot. Uh, coming out of high school, didn't really give him the offer, but kept putting him on uh, visits. So he already made up in his mind that it, it was personal. It was very much personal uh, for him. And you can tell just by what he did. But uh, TJ's a good kid, man. And he knew, like, just just like the rest of us, after the 24-hour rule, you know, it's on the a &M for him as well. Their, their top back, Moss, he ran for 100 yards on you guys last year. What can you say about his skills and what he could do? Uh, Moss is a very shifty guy. 
Um, he's patient with the ball. Um, he sees a gap. If he sees a bigger opening, he's going to shoot it and hit it. And he runs hard, too. He runs behind his pads. So uh, we're just preparing for him like we're, we're prepared for any other SEC running back or any running back, period. Yeah, Steven, could you give your thoughts on him? Yeah, definitely. I mean, any running back in SEC is going to probably be a good running back. So, you know, obviously respect him and his abilities. But uh, we're going to prepare to go out there and stop him like, you know, like we know we like we know we can. But, uh, yeah, like like you said, man, pretty good vision, good cut, uh, explosive runner. Um, obviously, we just got to we just got to prepare for another another pretty good running back. You know what I'm saying? So, Cam, you're one of the few guys on the team that has beaten Texas A&M. Um, there's been some painful losses in this series over the years. Can you talk about maybe what it what it could mean if you if you guys could win the last one? Oh, man, you know, uh, fortunately, my freshman year, I didn't get a chance to go down there. So I won just like the rest of my teammates. But come this weekend, you know, it's going to be an even different feeling when I can actually, like, grasp the trophy and not just see it in the trophy case, man. But just the past two years, you know, we we, we should have finished. Uh, we know we didn't play our best game. And it's enough motivation already that this will be the last time we play in this stadium. So that's my motivation going into this weekend. I, I want that trophy. Thanks, guys. Yeah, hey guys, uh, you know, you hadn't forced too many turnovers this year, and then all of a sudden you have the five against Auburn. Just uh, does it feel different as a defense, like playing well and then playing well when you're forcing that many turnovers and, and giving the ball back to your offense all the time? Um, I can say it, it is, it's a different feeling. Uh, just going out there, having takeaways in the game, you know, it, shift the, it shifts the momentum for not only us, but for the offense as well, because we know uh, if we get a good, a good three and out or get a takeaway or turnover, we know our offense is going to go down the field and execute. So it, it motivates the both, both sides of the ball. Yeah, I think he uh, definitely hit on the nail, just getting the ball back to our offense and giving us that momentum, shifting that confidence throughout the game, knowing that, you know, we prepare it well. We're starting to see the fruits of our labor come to, come to uh, fruition and come to – Come to uh, like come come on 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 the field, and uh, I think that um when we continue to work like that, we continue to um play play dominant defense like that. That's what's going to help us be better as a as a unit and as a team as well. And the secondary on Saturday, you know, they had a good game, and no Jalen, no Hudson. You know, what what have you seen from from that group in particular, and how good was it for them to show off their depth a little bit, and you guys can survive and thrive with a little bit of injuries? Um, I would just say they're, they're, they're one of the most closest groups on the team. You know, the, the back end, they do a lot of things together uh, on and off the field. They hang out with each other um, just to see the depth that we have, uh, not necessarily in an emergency standpoint, but just to see that we do have depth. And if one goes down, next man up, and, and we have the guys for it. Yeah, I also agree with what he said. I think uh, you can see the camaraderie within the secondary. Um, they pride themselves on preparation, so that's why you can have, you know, one of, you know, I guess our better our better guys, you know, uh, go down and have someone step up and produce just the same, man. You know, I think those guys are all ready, man. They're all capable. And when you go out there on the field, you see, you saw it on Auburn, man, like everyone was just out there ready to play. Thanks, guys. Back to you, Bob. <laughs> Um, I know Sam Piven said before and after the game last week, you know, the game plan on defense had to be you got to make that young quarterback beat, make the plays to beat you. And, and obviously he, did, he didn't do that or pretty well for you guys. You're playing another redshirt freshman, but this guy's they hadn't thrown a pick in two starts. I think 58 passes. He's thrown four touchdowns. Um, and I don't know if he's going to be the starter, but I'm guessing he might be. But if, if he is the guy, um, Facing a redshirt freshman again, do you have the same strategy, or is it this is kind of a different different animal you're playing this time? Um, to be honest, in my opinion, I really don't look at one's classification if they're on the field. Um, if they're on the field, they're good enough. To, you know, that's what T, uh, Coach T. Will always says to us: uh, classification doesn't matter. So if if redshirt freshman, junior, senior, whoever, we're just gonna prepare for him like he's another SEC quarterback. Yeah, man, who's ever out there, you know, I mean, obviously they have a lot of trust in them to put them on the field, so we're going to prepare for them like we prepare for any opponent. I don't know if you guys got to see this play live. You maybe were talking to the coaches, but I'm sure you saw a replay with the, the, the one where Talon, like, tried to hurdle that safety and he was standing straight up and kind of kicked him in the head or something. I guess as defensive players, um, I know nothing like that would ever happen in practice, but just well, as defensive players, well, what was your take on a quarterback, do, your, your quarterback doing that? 
Um, you know, Taylor, he's about about six, seven, six, eight, but you know, he really don't have a a, a lot of vert. You know, me personally, <laughs> if it was me, I would I would have cleared it. But you know, Taylor is a little, you know, he, he don't really have a lot of jump bounce to him. But I, I'm I'm working with him on it. You know, <laughs> so next time be be aware. If he does it again, it's because of me. <laughs> But, but seriously, I mean, just the fact that quarterback would even try to do that, I mean, you know, that's just not something you see every day. Maybe a running back or a receiver, you just don't see quarterbacks do that, at least I don't remember. Just what, as defensive players, as, as teammates, what would you all think about that? I thought it was pretty cool. You know, Taylor, Taylor's athletic. He's a, athletic enough to do it, you know what I'm saying? Just I got to get with him on his bounce a little bit. Yeah, that's about it. He, he, he got it in him, though. He got it in him. No, one hundred percent, man, a freak athlete. I, I thought he was. Gonna, I, it looked to me like he cleared him at first, but I, I guess he got him a little bit. But I mean, no, nah, he he's an athletic QB, man. Yeah. See, I, I just got one more for you. You got to make. I know you played a fair amount in those first three games, but you got to make your first start. What was that like making your first start at Arkansas? And then what was your view of the play where uh, TJ stripped? Uh, the run, I can't remember. I forgot the running back's name. I think it was, and and you were covered in the end zone. Kind of, what, what what was your view of that whole play? And then just what what was it like starting as a Razorback for the first time? Uh, well, I was very excited, obviously, to go out there for my first start here at Arkansas. Man, very thankful to the coaching staff just knowing that my hard work, you know, was paying off, man. And I was showing, you know, not only them but my teammates and my fellow uh, defensive teammates that you know you guys can trust me. And I'm here to help. Um, I, I definitely think it was exciting to go out there my first game in uh that. Uh, that stadium that we played, I thought it was an awesome stadium. Never been to Auburn before. And uh, to make a play like that, man, uh, to the, you know, thanks to TJ, man, you know, he had a hell, hell of a game. Um, I think it was just, it, it was awesome, man. You know what I'm saying? Anytime you get a turnover, get your hands on the ball, you know, it means a lot. So uh, I think that's definitely something that I'll cherish as my first uh, start here in the SEC, man, and for, you know, many plays to go. Did you kind of see him tracking a running back? He said that's some of y'all work on in practice that T will stresses. Um, did you kind of say, hey, I think he's going to strip him. I got to be over here so I can get the fumble or kind of how, how'd that all go down from your perspective? Man, I, it was honestly just effort, man. Running to the ball, you know, run to the ball, good things are happening. Uh, TJ was the last line of defense, you know, thank God he did what he did, man, because, you know, that definitely could have went their way. But, uh, you know, his his effort has helped us get that turnover, man. I was just there to, you know, kind of, you know, grab the assist off of it.